Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel, Roland Martin here. Hey listen, I have a modest little television uh, YouTube channel. It, you know, it's a couple hundred thousand viewers. Hey, but the king of the YouTube channels, the fishing channels, is none other but the Lunker TV guy, Rob Turkla. Hey Rob, what you doing, son? <laughs> hey, wait, oh, hey well, you got a couple million viewers. I do, I yeah. mean, he's like 10 times bigger than I am. And uh, you, so you're doing so well. You know, you told me a long time ago, you started this game a long time ago. And you were like posted every single day. Yeah. When you started, it was just you, you had a long. I, I time. don't do I don't do that anymore because I just yeah, got kind of right. slowed down as I got older. But you're like the king of everything. Well, I'm, I'm just <laughs> I mean, starting. How old are you rolling? I'm 84. <laughs> you're 84. <laughs> and you're still rolling. I'm like, still I, rolling. Still rolling. <laughs> but hey, listen, Rob and I have fished together a couple times, yeah. and we really have busted them good we a couple, have, couple yeah. times. We now today we're going to do a different deal. We're going to do the airboat. See the airboat? Look at this. Look, look at the airboat. And this is the airboat, and we're on on a three forks reservoir. And uh, Rob, you've, you've never really fished much out of an airboat, have you? I've never actually fished out of an airboat. Okay. The only person that's ever taken me in an airboat was your son. Okay, okay. That's it. So. <laughs> well, we're going to go out and we're going to go down through a bunch of shallow water and through all those trees and stuff and shallow marshes and we're going to get down to the south end and, and see what we can catch. Okay, I like it. Hey, I hey, like folks, it. don't go away because I tell you, Rob, he's going to light it up. He's going to show you a thing or two about <laughs> how he fishes and we're going to catch some fish, so, so stay tuned. Rob's backing me in. The, the truck's a little dirty right now. It's been a, it's been kind of a rough time. Okay, we're, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, good enough, Rob. That's it, he's gonna take it out. And I'm gonna start the engine. I'm gonna hit the, the switch right here and hit my deal and see what happens. I caught a 10 here, and uh, there's some of the good fish right here. Oh, you caught a 10 here? Huh? What are we doing, just flipping this stuff? No, this, it. oh, right here. What I did here was, there's current, pretty good current right here. I was just taking a worm. Well. The 10 I caught on a, on a chatterbait, but it was after I'd caught 20 something bass on a worm and I, I happened to throw the chatterbait out and caught one, but I, I haven't caught that many. Well, I caught some here on chatterbait, but mainly the worm, mainly just fishing a Cinco or a fluke mm -hmm. on these edges or out in the middle here. It's just a shame. There's a lot of current right here and it, it's like, it's pretty good. Good one, huh? I don't know. They're pretty big. He ate it right when it hit the water. About the same shit. size as the last one. It's big as it. Man, I mean, right when it hit the water, he ate it. Oh yeah. That's really. Oh god. Huh. That's you get some, huh? That's it is. Deal. That was pretty. I mean, that was no good. time to do anything. He smoked it. Smoked it right off the bat. You just hit the water and boom. Hit the water and <laughs> didn't have a chance to do anything else. Oh, wow. Granddaughter's a pretty good fisherman. Fisher lady, yeah, what do you want to call it? Pretty she damn good. Live, yeah, she's, yeah. 
Remember that time we were together and she hadn't caught anything all day and you and everybody else had <laughs> yeah. caught them? And then she said, can I can I go with you guys tomorrow? Yeah. And why, <laughs> why do you want to go? We haven't caught anything. That's why I want to go because yeah. I didn't catch any. I do remember that. That was pretty. Well, how old she was, probably 15 or 14. Yeah, and you know, like for a young girl to, to yeah. want to go after not catching anything, you, you'd say, <laughs> well, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. I fished with her the first time ever. I think she was like 12 or 13. Oh, biggin? Nah. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's really a good one. We went one. really down in size. That's really a bad one. I got them from the outside. Outside in. So I've got a lot of pads in here. Bigger, bigger fish. Bigger. Bigger. That's not a bad bag. No, but that's good. Hey, finally got one. Finally got a decent couple pounds. There you go. Open the old bug. The old bug time. The old bug. I think this is about the same size as the very first one I found. Yeah. We're so good. We need that like eight or nine pounds. There's got to be one inside this hunk of pads. Mm -hmm. Ain't got no. Yep, there he is. Might be good too. Oh yeah. <laughs> a mudfish, I think. That's cool. I think it is. It's a good one. I, I, think it's... I said I think it's a mudfish. Is it? I think so. Look at it. Oh no, it's a bass. It's a long there bass. There goes, son. There we go. <laughs> When I saw it jump first, I said, God bless it, the mudfish. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. That's kind of random. I just said, hey, there's probably going to be one back here. You did. You called it. You said, they're going to be one of that clump. He was in there. Yeah, he was in there. Okay. Well, hey, they've gotten bigger as we got back in here, though. Yeah, that was a bigger thing. That's bigger than the last one. That's respectable now. Yeah. That's respectable compared to the last few. Yeah. We've had a lot of... How many ones? There you go. Need a little more, John. Okay. Big one? Big one? Nope. Kind of blessed. They are really on these. They're really good. Isolated packs. But don't you think that there's big fish in there too? Oh, I hundred percent believe there's big fish in there. Got to be a good fish. Got to be a big fish somewhere. Especially if they're, if I'm, if I'm getting bit almost on every single one of these over here. This side's got to be better though. You see me like different yeah, there's some good ones down through there. Pockets of them. That's beautiful. But also the chatterbait really has been paying off on the edge of this. He'll grab. There's one. Yep. Big? I don't think he's that big, but he's he's a fish. He's a bass. He's a bass. Chatterbait bass. Chatterbait bass. I don't know. I was almost on cue too. One of these times we're gonna get a great big one, I'm telling you. It's gonna happen. Chatterbait bass. I just switched to a chatterbait and caught a little little one. But you know, we've had a real struggle with fish over three pounds. We just can't seem to get a big fish. And yet, in the background over there, folks, there's a, that's Captain Mike Arnoldy. And yesterday he had a nine pounder, another big one, about eight pounds. And then he said, how many over? He said seven, he had seven, seven, over, ten. seven over 10 in the last couple weeks. 
So we're in a good area and we can catch a big fish. We just haven't, haven't connected. Rob's caught a bunch of little ones and so have I, but they're not, nothing over three pounds. Hey folks, well, it's been a great day, Rob. What, what, what do you think of this lake? I think the lake's good. I caught a lot of fish, well over 30. I caught a couple threes. Yeah. I had one break me off, yeah. which kind of sucked. <laughs> but this is the trophy lake and we didn't catch a trophy today, but no. nevertheless, they're there. Yeah, yeah there's some, they have to be. Where else would they be? They're in the water. <laughs> but what I, what I was impressed me so much with Rob, of course, I've fished with you now three or four, five times. Yeah. And, uh, he, he immediately picked up on a brand new pattern that I hadn't been throwing. He took the Bandito Bug, which is another company. Now his, he has several different companies. and he is, He's in real estate, he's in everything. But his big deal that you might know him of is of the Lunkers TV program. Two million subscribers, the biggest fishing show, I guess, in the country. But anyway, but you also have Lung, uh, Guggen. The, the Guggen, yeah, the Guggen, Guggen thing, and so that, that Guggen, I don't have any of the baits right here, but anyway, he put a Guggen on, a little uh, bandito, bandito bug, bug that yeah, I guess yeah. my son Scott helped, helped no, with. No, your, your son designed it. Okay. And what's funny is your son actually taught me about the, the pad pattern. Okay. Whole, he's okay. like, they spawned at the base of the pads. But anyway, <laughs> Rob got, got on that pattern and just started pitching it. On every isolated clump, almost every isolated clump, you must have caught 20, 25. Pretty, pretty quick. It was, it was a pretty good. And I just knew we were going to get that 10 pounder, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> In fact, we were with uh, Mike today, Mike uh, Arnoldy, and they'd caught seven bass over 10 pounds in the last two weeks. So, so they're here. Just didn't, didn't happen today. But anyway, folks, uh, we had a great time. And uh, Rob, thanks again for fishing with, with yeah. me and showing me a thing or two about your uh, your new pattern with the bandito bug. <laughs> it was really great. And it's a little different than I normally use. It's a flipping pattern, but with a lighter 3 8 ounce weight and a different kind of hook and everything is kind of special. I taught you something. Was, I feel good about it. That was good. That was a good deal. <laughs> that was a good deal, Rob. Hey, well, thanks. Uh, thanks again, folks. Hey, listen, if you would, hit the likes button. I tell you, I, I got all these good people like the... Uh, the, the superstar people, the O'Reilly people, the Bass Pro Shop people, and of course my airboat. <laughs> That's been a lot of fun. So folks, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.